Israel reveals disturbing testimonies of Hamas rape on October 7 at UN. This post received a score of 5,100, with an upvote ratio of 75%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Friendly reminder that Rule 93 of the Geneva Convention states, Rape and other forms of sexual violence are prohibited. Also relevant is Article 34, by far the most blunt I've seen. That's the whole thing, just six words. I don't think the terrorists care about the Geneva Conventions. People who want protection under Geneva should though. Got to have a military for those rules to apply to you. Nope. The conventions are intentionally broad such that it covers any and all combatants. Susan Brown Miller wrote some extensive books about how in warfare, rape is so common it's unfortunately expected. She points out that about the only time women don't get raped by the enemy or even their own army passing through is when women are armed to the point that soldiers are afraid to mess with civilians. Edit. From the article, Israeli officials have speculated in recent days that Hamas refused to release the women due to concerns that their accounts from captivity could significantly tarnish Hamas's reputation. As if Hamas was known previously as a family brand. It is clear to anyone familiar with how this works that Hamas is, plundering, the population and women captives are certainly being used as an incentive for Hamas fighters. I said it on October 7 when it was happening. There is zero hope for the two-state solution after what happened on October 7. Israel will go gloves off and rip out the perpetrators and their support system root and stem. The fact that part of the massacre was essentially televised and likely the crimes themselves were recorded means the massacre and mass rapes will not disappear from Israeli memory likely ever. I don't think there ever was hope for a two-state solution to be honest with you. Yeah, wow, I'm sure they will figure this out and live happily together as neighbors soon. NSFL warning. You've been warned. They raped a woman, cut off her breasts and were throwing them around playing with them in front of her. Shooting women through their breasts. Shooting men in their genitals. Women in the genitals. I feel nauseous. I expected the worst and still wasn't prepared. That's not the worst. The worst is what the remaining hostages are still experiencing right fucking now, and have been for the past two months. Religious zealots raping women. That's bad PR, isn't it? Rape is a violation of Islamic law. So is cheating and premarital sex. They're okay being murderers, but get worried when everyone realizes their actions have nothing to do with religion. Don't worry, everybody knows. Oh yes, I am a murderer, but I do it halal. Fuck these guys. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.